Good morning, everyone. My kids are off to school and it's a great day to get my shopping done for all of my groceries and necessities. I'm going to walk you through step by step as you come shopping with me so you can see how much I really save each and every week by using coupons. Let's go. Okay, I'm about ready to head out the door, but first I need to show you what I did a few days ago in preparation for this trip. Because good preparation really is the key to saving you the absolute maximum that you can. Today is a Monday and last Friday I did my meal planning for the next week. I think meal planning is actually really important to saving you money. I have a video on that, I'll link for you if you'd like to see it. But as I was doing that, I went through my flyers and my coupons to maximize savings. So two of my most important keys to couponing are that you should only buy something with a coupon if you actually need and will use it. And you only use a coupon in an item that is also on sale, which helps to almost double your savings sometimes. To collect coupons, here's my binder full of printed off coupons from various websites, as well as coupons I've gotten from storefronts, mailers, that type of thing. I've also gone on to the app on my phone called Checkout 51 to clip coupons there that I wanna use in the next week. Check your coupons for expiry dates to make sure they're still good. Another spot I've looked are apps for the different stores I'll visit, like the PC Optimum app and the Food Basics app. Next, I check my flyers. So you can see here that I've gone through my paper flyers this week and circled any deals that I also have a coupon for. You can also do this on the Flip app, which I have right here. It's really whatever your preference is, whether paper or an app. I was really bummed this fall when the Walmart in our area announced that they will no longer accept price matching. This kind of stinks, so it does mean that I will be going around to a few different stores today to really get the deals. But no worries, I need the exercise. You can clearly see here that I am matching a coupon with what's in the flyer. So this chicken is already on sale for a really good price, 444 a pound for chicken breasts. And with my coupon, I'll get an additional $1 off. So with this chicken, I'll be making my chicken broccoli biscuit bake this week for a really cheap price. I'll link my recipe for that video below if you'd like to know how to make it. Or how about these Tostitos and salsa? On sale for two for $6 and I have a coupon for $1.50 off. Really sweet deal. I noticed on my Food Basics store app that there were several coupons available this week. One of them was for Butterball Turkey, $5 off. And lo and behold, Butterball Turkey is also on sale at Food Basics this week for $1.97 a pound. This weekend, I'm hosting my in-laws for Thanksgiving dinner, and the price of this turkey is going to be so sweet. You'll see here that I make my shopping list and categorize it by store. So under each store, I write down the item I want with both the sale price and the coupon I'm using for it. This helps me keep organized. I'm still old fashioned with writing the list out by hand. Maybe this year I'll join the 21st century and start making the list on my phone. What do you guys do? Handwritten list or typed on your phone? Let me know in the comments below. All right, now that I'm organized with all of my coupons, my shopping list and my phone apps, let's go shop. Today I'm starting out at Walmart. Before I go into the store, I take the coupons for that store out of my organizer and pop them into my day planner, just so that I don't have to carry a big binder of coupons into the store with me. And I have some sweet coupons this week for items I use all the time, like Hormel Bacon Bits, Centrum Vitamins, Cheese It Crackers. My favorite coupon this week is for Ruffles Chips. I printed this coupon for $1 off from tastyrewards.ca, which has a lot of our kind of Canadian brands of junk food. <laughs> and Ruffles were on super sale at Walmart for $1.97. At my local gas station, Ruffles chips cost $4.29 a bag. So this just shows you how much you can really save by shopping for sales and using coupons, because today I'm getting them for 97 cents. 
Don't forget to check for items that have a coupon on them while you're shopping. So this discount toilet paper has a coupon on the packaging that I can clip at home and save for a later date. When I get to the cashier, I like to pop the coupon I'm using on top of the item that coupon is for. I just think that's considerate for the cashier instead of just running all your items through and giving them the coupons at the end and then they have to go back and find that item to make sure it matches. I like to stick the coupon with the item. And then I make sure to keep my receipt as I'll need that later to claim my cash back from my checkout 51 coupons. Next I'm going to my local Zares which is part of the PC Loblaws chain. When I get in the door what I really like at this store is they have a big coupon rack at the front so I scan the rack for any new coupons I don't have and I want. I don't have to use them that day when I'm shopping. A lot of them don't expire for weeks or months even, so I can save them for the future. The important part of shopping here at a Loblaws store is that I have gone on to my Optimum app, which anyone can get for free. And I've gone onto that app on Friday to check what the offers are for points. So some of the items I get today will be essentially like up to a dollar off or more because of the points that it offers. For example, the cucumbers I'm getting offers 400 points per cucumber. The bread I'm getting is also 400 points and I will get those points back towards free groceries just because I went on my app and I loaded my offers. I have a few paper coupons I'm using here. One is for Lay's chips, which you can see are on for two for $4. And I have a $1.50 coupon off. As you're walking through the aisles, don't forget to check for coupons that are in the aisles. So check out what I scored here. There are coupons for Cracker Barrel cheese. So these coupons were not at the front on the coupon rack. They're right by the cheese. And a dollar off is a really incredible coupon. Cracker Barrel happens to be our family's favorite brand of cheese and it doesn't go on sale that often. But check it out, this week it's on sale for $4.99. I use a coupon for a dollar off, I get that cheese for $3.99. I'm loading up on cheese here. If we don't all use it this week, cheese has a pretty long expiry date and I can definitely use a coupon on each bar of cheese. You're not limited to just one coupon per time you go through the till. You're just limited to one coupon per bar. Lastly, at checkout, I'm gonna claim some of my PC points I have built up, $30 worth to be exact. So this entire haul in my grocery cart after I've claimed points and used my coupons, if you can believe it, only cost me $9.54. Oh, it feels good to walk out of the grocery store with this much food for only a little over nine bucks. Next, I make a short stop at Giant Tiger. Any other Canadians out there have a Giant Tiger in the community? I love this store. I have several coupons here, including one that I was surprised to find for $2 off of Halloween chips. I love buying these Frito-Lay kinds for our trick-or-treaters just because it's more exciting than the little cheapy bags of plain chips. It's nice to give them Doritos or ketchup chips or all dressed. I know that my kids appreciate when they get something like that. So I would like to get the same for our trick-or-treaters. And these ones are on sale for $6.97 and I have a coupon for $2 off that I found on the Tasty Rewards site. Laughing Cow Cheese was also a really good deal. It's regular $3.77 on for $2, and I have a $1 off coupon. So it's going to cost me $1 total. That is a great inexpensive addition to our Thanksgiving cheese board if you ask me. Yogurt is on sale for $2 as well, and I have a 50 cent off coupon. So my kids are getting a big tub of yogurt for breakfast this week for $1.50. So guys, do you like how much I'm saving so far? If so, give me a big thumbs up below this video. It makes it more visible on YouTube as a suggested video for others like yourself. It just lets me know that you like this content and I should keep making more of it. Finally, I'm doing what I would call my big shop at Food Basics. This is our local discount grocery store and is usually where I buy all of our fruits and vegetables. They are half the price of other stores. I'll just show you here some of the deals that were in the store today that are like definitely at least half the price of what I would have got at Zares, for example. So I have a lot of coupons I can use at this store, including that sweet $5 off the Butterball Turkey. 
I also have this great coupon for Quaker Oats. This is what we use to make our homemade granola. So I'm definitely gonna buy this up. Even though I don't necessarily need it this week, this will keep for a long time in my pantry and it's such a great deal. I have a little tip here for dishwasher detergent for you guys. We had our dishwasher break down once and we'd been using, I think like finish or something like that as our dish detergent. And the guy who came to fix our dishwasher told us that some of the cheapest dishwasher detergent is better on your dishwasher and not as hard on it as the more expensive brands. So if you'll see here, there's the brand name version, which is $8.99 versus the store brand version selection for $3.99. So less than half the price already, plus I have a Food Basics app that has coupons on it that's going to give me another 40 cents off this. So $3.59 for like a month's worth of dishwasher detergent powder, I think that is a pretty incredible deal. All right, I've got everything, time to pack it in the trunk and head home to reveal how much I saved. Okay, I'm back home with all of my groceries and I cannot wait to show you all what a massive haul I got and how much money I saved. This week has been incredible. I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, so now that I have looked at my receipts, I've tallied up how much I saved using coupons and sales, as well as how much cash back I'm getting from my PC points and my Checkout 51 app, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how much this cost. But first, I did tally up how much all of this food on my kitchen counter would have cost if I had not used coupons, if I had not shopped the sales, if I just gone to a store and paid full price for everything. And that total is just a little over $400, which is not bad for a week's worth of groceries for eight people as well as Thanksgiving dinner. However, I did not spend even close to that amount. Want to know how much I did spend? The grand total was, drum roll please, $235.75. There you have it. Now you know, this is about what I spend every week on groceries, oftentimes less because I don't usually have Thanksgiving dinner in the mix, but I did spend nearly half of what I would have spent. I did save almost $200 on my groceries just this week alone that I can now put towards paying off my mortgage or a vacation for my family. And if this video does not convince you that couponing and shopping the sales is totally worth it, I don't know what will. Are you guys interested in learning more about my process for couponing in a little more detail? I've got a video coming right up that explains all of that, so make sure you keep watching. By the way, are you subscribed to the channel yet? Coming up, I'm going to be doing a video of me shopping once again, but this time with no coupons. And I'm gonna show you just how much you can save without couponing at all, just by using some of my really simple tactics. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you are so you don't miss that video. Just click that red button below. And don't forget the bell so you know whenever a new video of mine comes out. This channel is really all about taking your very least and making the most out of it. So I hope that I have done that for you guys today. I hope I've led by example. And thank you so much for coming along on the journey with me. See you in the next video, everyone. For the least, this is Jen.